So this is this is the super bus. You can't really see much of it, but um, yeah, this is what I am converting into a camper van. And uh, as you can probably see, if we come around here, ooh, isn't it exciting? We've got a bed. Wee! We made that out of a pallet that someone down the doctor surgery gave to us. And this is going to be the bathroom of sorts, but it will need a lot of waterproofing and stuff. And then you've got the driver's seat, uh, or driver's seat and passenger seat. A little walkway in the middle. And then I think that's where the wardrobe's going. And the kitchen will go there. So, all very crammed in, but it'll work. And this is Fred, he's helping me. So I'm forcing him, <laughs> like some evil slave. It's kind of difficult to see, well, not really, but this whole contraption here used to be a light. And now I'm taking it out and replacing it with some other kind of 12 volt device. Possibly better light because the one that was in there originally doesn't work. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Fred is removing the door. There he is, door removing. Uh, Try taking the radio out today and it, well we got it out, we just need to find one that works now because that one there doesn't. And yeah, that's about it. This is the van we've rented to go pick up the engine and drop off the TV. And as usual, I've brought Fred with me to lift things and make use of him. So yeah, hopefully next time you see us we'll have a Renault traffic engine. Or more than likely I'll take videos of us driving down the road. <laughs> like, like, like you're supposed to. Yeah, like I'm supposed to. Keeping my... Like, like what's the lead? Yeah, keeping concentrated on the road at all times, of course. I'll drive it, like, through the camera. <laughs> through the video screen. Lovely day for it, though, isn't it? Here is the video of us driving up north, and we think, we're not sure, but we think we've just seen one of our French BMWs, or old BMW, N44 RVN. Rob, if this is your car. <laughs> bit, a bit of traffic going on to the M1. Well, thank you very much. It's all good fun. Isn't it? All good fun. Yeah, man. So here we are in our man's camper van. He set up all three of the beds for us. There are two single ones. And there is this massive one which Fred slept on. Which I think is for adults and stuff like that. I think the uh, little ones are for kids. So I didn't have any problem sleeping on them being tiny. Um, but yeah, this is this is Dan's camper van. And he's got a wood stove. I noticed it leaking in the night though. Don't tell him. Shh. This is wood stove so you can keep nice and warm. It was really warm in here last night so we didn't need the wood stove. But yeah, it's got all curtains up. It's got windows in the top bit of the second bit. It's got a dinghy, so skylight, some electrical equipment here. Um, this is fridge. That one right there is his fridge. And this, this is no longer a 1.67 petrol. I think it's now 2.1 diesel and the only reason he's not driving it about is because um, he needs to get a mechanical certificate for it I think I think that's what the problem is but um, 
Yeah. I think it looks really neat in it. But I think his is a bit smaller than mine. His is taller, definitely, but mine is mine is longer. Although I haven't got the second floor, he's gonna have more space. I'm just gonna fill all my space with loads of shit. Yeah. And not put all storage in like he's done. Here's the legend about to fire his van up. Oh, wicked! This is Dan's camper van. He stuck a diesel engine in there, which means uh, we get his shiny old petrol engine. Which is that one there. That one there, and shiny gearbox under there. And he's also been very kind enough to donate all this wood and <laughs> toilets and showers and stuff like this. So yeah.